Are you gonna help me? Huh? Thank you. Oh, two tape measures for me. Thank you so much. Oh, do you want to? Oh, you want the camera now? <laughs> okay, can I get to work now? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So as you can see behind me, we are still unfortunately working at my house. Um, the carport has been ripped down, the concrete has been ripped up. If you missed either one of those videos, you can find one link to one video here. Um, right now I am walking to the shed to get some material out. Uh, I'm hoping I have a string in my little shed here. Uh, so that I can start laying out the points that I need to dig for the foundation. Uh, that is the next step in this whole process of rebuilding this garage. Uh, we had PA1 call come out and they marked out the water lines. Uh, electric lines are above the ground on telephone poles, so the only utility running up our road underground is water. They marked that out. I'm good to dig. So now I need to figure out uh, my dig site specifically where it's at all my corners my lines uh, so i'm going to go ahead and get my stuff that i have set up and i'll show you guys how we do that all right so here we are i got my pins hammer string paint tape measure and pocket tape measure just kidding that's a 25 footer i just didn't know i left one out here so happy accident i have two tape measures now wonderful Um, I put in my start pin there, uh, ran another pin right off of this corner here. Uh, these, these pins are both set at 13 foot 6 inches off the house. Hooked my string to it and pulled that guy through all the way to back here. Now I need to find my front corner up here still. So what I'll do is... Um, I will set my next pin up here where uh, where I want the, the wall to go. Uh, then I will, oh, sorry about that. I will do a three, four, five triangle to get that nice and square on that line there and uh, put another pin in there. I'm, however, um, my Aunt Tracy just dropped Eleanor off, so this is where I need to call it for today. So we will pick this back up probably tomorrow morning. Uh, now, I, like I said, it is Friday trying to have all this stuff done and ready so that I can start digging on Monday. Uh, Monday is Memorial Day, but I feel like this is only going to take me a few hours to dig. So if I get up nice and early, I should be able to have this knocked out relatively quick, hopefully. But, you know, something will probably happen and delay me another week and $800. I don't know. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, so fast forward here. It's Tuesday after Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day, everyone. Uh, thank you to those who have served in our armed forces as well as uh, all those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. We owe you a debt that can never be repaid. Um, everything was going good at the end of last week. Saturday was pretty decent, and then Sunday I just barely could move. 
Um, we made it to, what was it, May, end of May 2023, and Rachel, Eleanor, and I all got COVID. So I am out of commission work-wise uh, for this week, which means it gives me a lot of time at home to get stuff done here with uh, this garage project that we have. I am still a little bit slow moving today. Sunday and Monday were just absolutely horrendous. I could barely get off the couch. Uh, Rachel got it a few days before me and she was kind of in the same boat. Uh, Eleanor had a slight fever. Uh, those two are both doing tremendously better though. They're up and moving and uh, Rachel's actually done with her quarantine time. Uh, I think Eleanor still has like one or two more days. Uh, but with me and my symptoms of when they actually first came about, I, like I said, I'm off work all, all this week. So I'm gonna use that time to try to push forward with this and get the footer and the foundation walls done, hopefully by Saturday. Hey, Mr. McGill. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'm just laying out my front foundation wall here, uh, getting that square. Uh, you can see I brought the 301 down with the, uh, I think that's a 12 inch bucket. So we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna dig about a two and a half to three foot wide hole for the footer. Give me lots of room. Hey, princess. Uh, that's going to give me lots of room to make sure my foundation wall can be nice and square off the house uh, so that the garage will be nice and square. So I'm going to get all the cameras and everything set up and get going with this. Can we have hi? Okay, so the footers are almost done. Uh, I need to clean this up a little bit, and then I would like to extend it uh, this way a little bit more. Um, ideally, whenever I form the wall for my foundation walls for you know the, the stick framing and everything, I want a concrete wall to extend either to the end of my house or even past it. That way, that's just gonna give us a little bit extra protection with this water coming down the hill um, if we don't have a wall there, because we're creating this corner, uh, this little bump out here, uh, now we run the risk of having water come down this hill, go across the driveway. Now I know we are picking the floor up, uh, oh, what was that, like 16 inches or something? Uh, so there is going to be a good bit of slope coming out, 
but just as an added safety precaution, I would like to, to have another wall here. Um, that way, like I said, um, just a little bit extra insurance there that no water is ever gonna be sitting up against the house again. Um, I need to do something with this dirt, so I'm gonna run up to the garage, I'm gonna get the dump truck, then I'm gonna run back up to the garage and get the skid loader and uh, get some of this dirt out of here um, because I, I really don't want to pour on top of dirt. I would prefer to put stone in there so it's a little bit more compact and uh, a lot a lot more solid. So, <coughs> sorry, freaking COVID. Oh boy. Um, yeah, so I think that's next on the list and uh, let's get her done. Okay, so here we are, uh, Wednesday morning-ish. It's about 9.30. Uh, concrete's due in about a half hour. Um, had a couple things I needed to finalize this morning, so I wanted to give myself plenty of time uh, without feeling rushed. Um, now, one thing I wanted to show you was yesterday we dug out the footer. I uh, got it all prepped and ready. Now, there are some springs that run down through here, so we have a little bit of water right here. That's not that much water looks are a little deceiving um you know the deepest part there probably about an inch and a half uh for the most part though not a whole lot right over here is the little bit of an issue um this is a little bit too much water uh, i tried putting my sump pump in there to pull all that out uh it kept getting clogged so i'm just going to grab a five gallon bucket and bail that out now if you're wondering what this is this is a header um, I put this in because I did overdig this area pretty substantially. Um, gonna lower this footer here uh, about nine and a quarter inch, the same size as two by ten. That way, when I form out my walls, I can start my row off with a two by ten, and then that will transition right into the bottom of this, or I'm sorry, the top of this footer. So all the lumber and everything should line up nice whenever I'm doing that. Uh, we got our paint lines on for my guidelines for when we're pouring. Uh, so as I'm pouring, whenever I get back to one of these spots, I'll check it with the transit, which is set up right over there. Uh, the receiver end of the transit is set and ready to go. And uh, yeah, I had to throw all this stuff in this footer here to get the power buggy across so shut the hood since we're fueled up so yeah now we're just uh kind of getting cameras set up and waiting for the mixer <sighs> nice easy wednesday <coughs> but covid is still kicking my butt realized this morning i lost my sense of smell i was trying to make sure the fuel i was putting in here was gas and it wasn't you know water in a gas can and i couldn't smell it so that was that was a pretty wild sensation there but yeah, so we're just going to wait for the mixer to show up and uh, get this show on the road. Here I'm putting half inch rebar in my footer. You should always, always, always put some sort of reinforcement into your footer. This was a little tricky to do by myself, but I figured it out and made it happen. Putting concrete in while checking it with the transit and trying to flatten it off with a shovel because I forgot a rake. I got to a point where I could lose the power buggy and put all four chutes on the concrete truck so the driver could place the concrete for me and it would go a little bit faster. And since I couldn't think because of COVID, I had to make a homemade rake because I forgot to get one from the shop.
And here I had to run to the house and get some water because it was about the third or fourth time I almost passed out. Alright everybody, so obviously there's some changes. I mean, number one, I got a haircut, trimmed the beard. Um, I actually can't remember if I had the beard trimmed or not, and I'm editing this video right now, uh, and it's July 5th. So yeah, obviously as you guys can see, I've got my computer piece back together enough that I can start editing videos so thank you guys for for checking back in and, and sticking with me through this uh, the other change you probably noticed is behind me we got a lot of work done here uh, still trying to push forward and uh, just keep keep uh, pressing forward with this with this project um, I have a couple other projects that I, I need to keep working on like the wall extension so I can finish the driveway um, but you know I have to balance all of this stuff with work for my dad, work for myself, got to keep that money coming in. Plus we're trying to get work done over at the property. And also I'm trying to make these videos too because like I've said previously, I do really enjoy making videos. It is a lot of fun for me and, and, and it's just, uh, you know, I've liked doing this since high school. But uh, the reason why I'm filming this now is because I'm putting this video together almost finished with it looking for my closeout clip that I usually do where I give you guys the rundown of everything and uh, I definitely remember filming it I just don't know where it went so here it is this is the closeout and I would show you the footer but it's obviously covered so uh, yeah if you saw you know we poured the concrete I was checking it with the transit uh, every once in a while uh, and it was me by myself uh, the other guys were at work I, as I said multiple times throughout the video, had COVID, so I wasn't able to go to work. I had to take the week off, which was kind of a blessing in disguise because I was able to get a ton of work knocked out here. Um, but yeah, so we got the I got the footer poured. Uh, it was a little bit challenging. I basically just filled the entire footer up. I ended up taking off, out that header board that was over in that corner. If you guys saw that, uh, you probably just saw that disappear. I don't think I really filmed the uh, filling that side up, but. Um, you know, overfilled it a little bit, had to shovel it out, and then actually, I doubt any of you caught it, but there were a couple times through that time lapse where uh, I took off my hat and I was like shaking my head, and uh, that's because I was so unbelievably exhausted that like COVID just killed me. It wore me down, I had no energy, so trying to do that by myself was a huge mistake. Number one, I couldn't think clearly at all. I couldn't even think enough to remember to bring a rake or a float down. So I had to take a piece of scrap lumber that was left over from the carport demo, cut a chunk off and make a makeshift rake. And it was womanized two by four foot. So that sucker was heavy. So me being already exhausted, trying to manhandle that while set concrete that was setting up really, really fast. It was, uh, it was a lot and there were a couple times where I got those dark rings closing in on my eyes like I was about to pass out. So uh, that was really fun. So if anybody out there has COVID and uh, you're not really feeling 100%, don't pour a 10 yard footer by yourself. It, it, goes, it, it doesn't go good at all. So, uh, you know, hey, we, we got it done though. Uh, you know, every time that happened, where I felt like I was gonna pass out. I just had to shake my head and get myself kinda kinda awake and just think of, well, if I pass out, this is a lot of money that I'm wasting by not getting this footer set. So uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting. Um, got it set and then immediately had to go inside and lay down and I think I was asleep for like three or four hours, Rachel said. It just wiped me out. So, uh, 
it, I mean, it, it all went good, obviously. We have the foundation wall done, the garage floor done. Uh, you guys will see those videos in a couple days here. But basically, just wanted to kind of close this video out properly and not just end it with a black screen. So, um, you know, thank you guys a million times over for all the support that everybody's been showing me. Um, I really appreciate everybody checking in, uh, sticking with me through the period of no videos. Uh, anybody that has gone over and liked our Instagram, Instagram page, thank you very much. And anybody who has gone and checked out our Etsy store, you know, whether or not you bought something or left me feedback or just went and visited it, all of that stuff is, is a big deal to me and I can't even begin to express how much I appreciate it. So. With all that being said, it's about nine o'clock at night. I'm trying to wrap this video up so you guys can see it tomorrow. Uh, so I wanna thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. And don't go anywhere because obviously, we have a ton of work done here that I wanna share with you guys. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Thanks.